Exactly. Now it is that time again to see some more open homes with Josephine Kinsella from Mike Perot Real Estate. What have you got to show us today? We're going the whole batch thing, are we? Yeah, well, look, it felt right. We've just had um, some lovely long weekends and um, we're heading into another weekend. So let's uh, look at what's out there for investments in batch yes. holiday homes. Yes, let's think about how we can actually make these work. First up, we're heading to Matakana. Matakana. Now, this is a really popular region. So um, this is in Lee Road, 773 Lee Road. Um, it, it's typically a batch. You've got a one bedroom one bathroom property here and it's just surrounded with these beautiful rural views and it's gorgeous look at it I like that that's sweet. got character very much character and I guess in this area it's prime opportunity to invest so um, properties of this sort of size is around about an acre um, if you were to extend and build you know get the consents to um, to approve to build on it, um, you could easily have you know a couple of million dollars worth of property there. So, at around about um, a buyer's match of around about the 900 million mark, um, it's it's a good opportunity to go and have a, a nice lifestyle property and a home away from home and not far from Auckland. And that's a water view. I can see a water view mm. there. Very much so. You're not far from Omaha and of course Lee, um, Matakana. Everyone loves the Matakana market, so it certainly is a nice little weekend getaway. Nice. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? Okay. Can Continuing the theme of batches, let's head to Port Waikato. Port Waikato. So this is, um, I, I always love this area because I think it's sort of this hidden getaway. It's only um, typically about an hour from Auckland, uh, south of course. And the coastline here, if you're into surfing, if you're into fishing, um, Mournsall Road, Port Waikato is just, you know, the perfect getaway. And at a price tag of $550,000, you are really getting great value for money for coastal property. So there's not too many around at this price, so that close to Auckland. And um, featuring four bedrooms of this one, we've got two bathrooms, we've got a nice um, double garage, the kitchen, the bathrooms, they've all been renovated for you, so you literally just pick the family up, out you go, have a nice weekend away and relax. And I noticed uh, in those earlier shots of that property there in Port Waikato, there was enough room to park the boat even, isn't there? Of course, yeah. especially in a fishing area like that. So yeah. You're, you're definitely going to need it, aren't you? Absolutely. Right, let's go to one of my favourite areas. Thames Coromandel. Thames Coromandel. So pretty young. So um, hey, Esplanade. Um, this property, look, it, it is a really well constructed home. It's a large property. Uh, even has a self-contained apartment in it. Um, typically, uh, this is great for Airbnb if you're wanting to have an, an, as an investment. But it's prime um, canal front position in Fidianga, in the waterways there. There you oh, go. Look at Bring that. Look at that. What a life. <laughs> what a life. Absolutely. So um, it's advertised at 1.85. Um, fairly um, bang on the mark there and it is a solid crafted home it is a concrete home so um, beautifully uh, finished um, I don't think the photos do it justice it really is quite spectacular there's the, the floor plan it's for huge you. isn't it, it? it's massive and, and having the, the apartment the separate apartment that is great absolutely and I mean down the track you might want to move there reside there permanently yeah. and still have you know the opportunity of family and friends or rent out this yeah container. you live in you live there and you have your apartment in Auckland you wow. do that they do it that way around that'd be yeah, right park your boat right out the front oh, <laughs> I love that and a lot of people are choosing to do that now so yeah. nice um, work the young is of course a gorgeous destination gorgeous uh, okay so Got Josephine it. I'm looking for serenity I'm looking for something no? that's nice Looking in the Marlborough Sounds, what have you got for me? Marlborough Sounds. So we have um, Nikau Street. Nikau Street is a two bedroom, um, one bathroom property. Um, it is just, you know, a gorgeous place to get away to and a perfect price tag at only 335000 Wow. It's the quintessential Kiwi batch. Is and that what you see from it? That's not what you see oh. from it. It's a, the local park and it's, it's not too far um, from the property itself. So, very short distance um, to get you there. But it is a beautiful home. And in terms of you know a batch and offering great value for money a lot of people also um, not only from Auckland but also from Christchurch choose this location for a getaway so um, again if you're into the fishing there's no better place than the sounds crayfish diving um, you name it it's got it this is um, this is one that definitely will get some guns. I have never spent any time in the Marlborough Sounds and I really really want to it just looks beautiful mm. as, as long as you like a little bit cooler in water it is sensational no, and the great thing is about that property Josephine is when you look at it straight away you think well there's 
still potential to you know tidy it up and make it look prettier and yeah. add a bit of value to it and just spend your weekends in serenity down mm. there having what, a great time. What was the value on that one again? It's at around 335000 That sounds like it might be more in our budget. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, yeah. you might still have to halve that one for me. <laughs> um, OK, so while we're on, the, on batches, if, if people are looking to purchase a batch, have you got any tips for them? What do they need to be aware of? What do they need to look out for? If they're looking at lend, uh, borrowing, they're going to, of course, have to have around about 40% equity um, either in their home or deposit. So that's one thing to remember. Again, make sure you consult a financial advisor to make sure what you're investing is, is a wise decision and it's mm. affordable. You know, don't stretch yourself too much. Um, I will often say to people as well, don't you know, don't look too far afield. Something that's relatively closer to home is a nicer get away. It's that you're actually going to use. That yeah, you're actually going to yeah. use. Regularly. Um, and also look at, um, I, I guess, opportunities that you could uh, holiday let as well to try and get some of the returns back. Mm. So that's worthwhile. And just remember that if you sell it within two years, you are um, going to be hit by the taxman with right. any gains. And that is some very sound advice. Thank you so much, Josephine. Always great having you on the show. Now just.